Hi everyone, it's Sal here. A very warm welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a declutter of my collection. I have around six perfumes here that I am going to be getting rid of. I've kind of decided recently that I really do want to try and keep my collection relatively small because I've just realised through collecting fragrances that like a really large collection is just not for me. I much prefer having a collection round about the 30 to 40 bottle mark. Well, I think at the moment I have around 60 bottles, 50, 60. So I am still trying to thin that out a little bit. Very quickly before we jump into today's video though, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. Uh, this is a channel all about fragrances. So if that interests you, I would absolutely love it if you would click the subscribe button below, like this video and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so as I was saying, I am really trying to keep my collection relatively small, like as small as I can keep it really. Um, I know that I need to have a certain level of fragrances to talk about on my channel because I love having this channel and I love being able to talk about fragrances with you guys but um, with that being said I do find that I much prefer having a smaller collection. I think in general I've been trying to just declutter my life. I've been um, sort of changing my wardrobe a little bit as well. I guess in general I'm just trying to invest in quality over quantity just with everything and that definitely applies to my perfume collection. So today I'm going to be showing you a group of fragrances which although I really like them and they are fantastic perfumes of course I just haven't been reaching for them and I think I could probably do without them. Um, I just don't feel strongly enough about them to keep them. I'm actually quite interested to know how you guys feel about decluttering. Please let me know in the comments if you are like me in the sense that you often want to declutter and get rid of the fragrances that you don't use that often or if you think that that's madness and you would much rather keep you know, a wide range of fragrances, even if you don't reach for them that much at all. Please let me know in the comments. I think it's really interesting to hear how other people um, deal with their collection. I'd be really interested to hear how you guys go about things. Um, and I used to have a much larger collection, but as you may have seen, I did two big declutter videos at the start of this year, and I think I'm going to continue um, every so often just re-evaluating my collection, decluttering the ones I'm not using very much, and so forth. Oh, just gonna have a sip of my peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is my new obsession these days. I absolutely love it. The way that I discovered peppermint tea actually is because I was watching that series on Netflix behind her eyes and the main character Adele drinks peppermint tea. So that's what made me decide to try it. And ever since I tried it, I've just been drinking it nonstop. So I think I'll start with this one here. It's the closest one to me. So this is La Viabelle Eau de Parfum Intense. Now this is a La Viabelle flanker. It's very, very sweet. It has the hazelnut and whipped cream accord in here. And it's really very nice. Um, it's that rich, very indulgent gourmand kind of scent, which is just stunning. But to me, this is kind of exclusively a wintertime fragrance. And even during the winter, I wasn't really reaching for this one a whole lot. So I came to the decision that really there's not much point in me keeping this because the only time that I would really want to wear this is during the autumn and winter. And obviously we're going into spring and summer now, but even come the next winter, I don't think I'd be reaching for this one that often because there are others that I would be reaching for more. And I did, I used to have La Viabelle Le Clat and I decluttered that one fairly recently and this was the only La Viabelle that I had left and it was just kind of sitting there fairly redundant in my collection I just wasn't really using it and I've come to the decision that I would just want to I want it to find a new home now. I think the thing that was holding me back from actually decluttering this particular fragrance is the fact that it's going to be discontinued or is discontinued now and I didn't want to get rid of it for that reason but um, I really just wasn't using it and I don't think that's a reason to keep a fragrance just because it's been discontinued. Um, I don't think that's a good enough reason. It's not a good enough reason for me anyway. So I am very much looking to declutter this one and move on to a new home. If you're a fan of rich, syrupy, 
fragrances um, and whipped cream accords and slightly nutty accords and things like that. Um, I think you'd love this. I think if you like Ellie Sab Girl of Now, I think you would also like this because they're kind of similar in my opinion. Um, but anyway, so that is La Vie Belle, Eau de Parfum Intense, 50ml. So speaking of Girl of Now, <laughs> next up today is Ellie Sab Girl of Now. So this is a fragrance which I actually quite like. It's really nice. It is a nice fragrance. And to be honest, I am still kind of on the fence about this declutter. This is a possible declutter, um, so I'm going to feature it in this video, but I'm not like 100% decided on whether or not I want to let this one go, just because it is very nice. And the bottle is beautiful, like I absolutely love this packaging. I've mentioned this in a video before, how beautiful this packaging is. It's like a work of art. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice one. I love the kind of um, art deco, I don't know if you'd call that art deco kind of style maybe um, just the design of the bottle and the faceted glass here, the colour of the juice with the blue petals, it's just beautiful. So I am still kind of on the fence. This is a very syrupy, nutty, orange blossom kind of fragrance. And it's really nice. The only reason that I'm thinking of getting rid of it is because I haven't really been reaching for it an awful lot. And in my opinion, that's like a good enough reason to get rid of a fragrance if it just never gets worn. I don't like keeping fragrances just for collection purposes only. I do buy them to use. Uh, I don't collect just for the sake of collecting ever. I only buy a fragrance if I think I'm going to get really good use out of it. So therefore, this one is kind of on the chopping block. But as I say, I think I need to consider this one a little bit more just because of how beautiful a fragrance it is. I'm just not totally sure if I want to let this one go yet, but I'm kind of halfway thinking about it, if you know what I mean. So anyway. That is Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. Next up today is a fragrance which you might be slightly like confused as to why I'm decluttering it, but I'll explain why in a minute. And that perfume is Black Perfecto by Guerlain. Now, the only reason I'm getting rid of this one, it's not because I've gone off the fragrance or anything like that, it's because I own two bottles of this. So initially I purchased the 30ml and then I loved it so much at the time that I went and bought a backup bottle which um, I don't really think it was necessary looking back, to be honest, because um, sometimes I'm inclined to think that a 30ml isn't enough and, and that's why I then bought a backup bottle. But, you know, the amount of times I've used it, I've not used it up yet and I don't think I will actually use that bottle up for a very long time. So I think it was just kind of unnecessary me buying this additional backup. Um, it's not like I use it every other day. I actually use this particular fragrance very, very occasionally, so therefore I don't think I need two bottles. If I only had, say, between five and ten perfumes in my whole collection and I used it every other day, then yes, fair enough, but that's not the case. It's a perfume that I very rarely dip into, um, particularly now that we're into spring and summer. Um, the weather in Scotland, particularly over this last week, has been very, very warm and this is kind of the last kind of fragrance that I would be looking to reach for in that kind of weather. It's stunning though, it's a stunning um, rose, cherry, almond and leather, slightly powdery, tonka bean kind of scent. It's stunning, it's really beautiful. The leather note in here isn't strong, it just gives it a little accent. So yeah, beautiful fragrance, but I definitely think the little 30ml that I have, this is the 50ml, but the 30ml I have is probably enough for me, especially considering that it's not really the weather for this kind of fragrance as well, and I just, I just don't need both, basically. <laughs> That's the reason. So that is Black Perfecto from Guerlain. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, actually, how do you like my new setup? This isn't, I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to be the permanent new setup, but um, I just kind of fancied a change from my usual office space. So I decided to bring you guys into my living room today. So let me know in the comments if you like this. I think it's quite, it's quite a nice feeling from the surrounding. I quite like it. Okay, so next up today we have Lalique Salai. And this one surprised me actually because I sort of thought that this would be a go-to fragrance for me during the spring and summer. Um, because it is very much, to me, a spring-summertime scent. Very citrusy, in an orange kind of way. This almost reminds me of um, a designer suede um, bag with oranges. So it's very, very orangey, but with a suede-like undertone. Um, and maybe that comes from the mix of other notes they have in here, like the pistachio, the milk accord, the coffee. 
There's a bunch of like interesting notes in here which I don't directly pick up on. I'm guessing that's perhaps um, the suede-like undertone that I'm detecting, just a sort of combination of all those other notes that are in here. Very orangey. So if you like the smell of oranges then you'd be fair away with this because as I say that is the main sort of note that I pick up on and me personally I don't love citrusy scents like that much. I don't mind them but on the whole it's not the kind of scent I would go for. I would much rather go for like a predominantly floral scent like a slightly fruity floral or like a uh, yeah florals basically woody, sweet, vanilla powdery, those kind of smells, but citrusy smells are not really my kind of thing totally. So this is a predominantly citrusy scent, which is why I think it just hasn't really worked out for me in the end. Um, beautiful scent though, really nice lasting power, really nice strength of scent and everything like that, very classy, very elegant, all of those things. Um, quite uplifting as well because of the very bright nature of the fragrance, but just not quite for me. So this one is now Looking for a new home, um, if any of you guys are in the UK, uh, I can only send within the UK so it has to be in the UK, but if any of you guys are in the UK and you're interested in purchasing any of these from me, just send me an email, I'll leave my email in the description box, just let me know and we can have a chat about it. Um, but yeah, so this one is now looking for a new home. It's a real shame because actually the bottle is stunning and you know um, I'm a sucker for a beautiful bottle. This is perhaps one of the most beautiful bottles I've ever seen and it's just completely stunning. But again, that's not a good enough reason for me to keep it. I actually never wear this one so I am more than happy to be decluttering this one from my collection. So that is Lalique Salai. Next up today we have Prada Candy. Now this fragrance is really really nice. Benzoin, warm, fuzzy, caramel, powdery kind of fragrance and it's really really nice but I've not been reaching for it and I think I could probably do without it. I know there's a bunch of um, Prada candy flankers, let me know in the comments which one you've tried of like the other flankers and if you would recommend any to me because I know there's like a floral one which I think I might prefer or um, the gloss although that has a cherry note in there so I'm not 100% sure if I would like the gloss just because I'm not like the biggest fan of really strong cherry notes but um but yeah there's other flankers to this fragrance which I think I would actually prefer to the original especially now we're in spring and summer I think um I'm very much veering away from this type of scent going into warmer months because I find it just a little bit too just a bit too cloying really. Um, so that's Prada Candy 30ml. And last up today we have Marc Jacobs Decadence. Um, but this one, the packaging is stunning. So the box is this really luxe velvet, crushed velvet kind of appearance and texture, which is just really quite special. And the lid itself comes in its own separate box, which I'll show you in a minute. And the fragrance itself is here. This is the 30ml bottle that I have. So that's it there in all of its glory. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. I mean, really, I think this is fantastic. I've heard here and there that some people find this um, tacky or, uh, yeah, tacky or something like that or gaudy, but I have to disagree actually. I think that this is really beautiful. Um, quite innovative as well. I like the fact that they did something a little bit different. Um, I think this would look awesome next to the Carolina Herrera Good Girl, actually. Imagine if you had this bag and the shoe next to each other. I think that would look fantastic in a collection. Um, but unfortunately, as I say, this one is just not quite for me, you guys. I actually thought this would be a total love because um, every now and then I heard rumblings of this being compared to Mugler Aura, which I adore. I really enjoy Mugler Aura. Um, so I thought I was kind of good to go with this one. This was a blind buy. Um, but actually I've just not found the right occasion to wear this to. I just find it a really awkward one to know when to wear it, if that makes sense. I just never seem to find the right time. Uh, I'm not wearing fragrance today yet actually, so what I think I might do is I shall dare to wear this as my scent of the day, <laughs> just to like make sure that I'm making the right decision. I'll wear this today. <laughs> Some of that went in my mouth, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna wear this today and then like make sure basically that I definitely want to get rid of it. So it's definitely a very unusual fragrance. 
There's something kind of creamy and dry in here, like a fruitiness, a dry fruitiness. So this is quite a thick, fruity, green, slightly spicy, warm fragrance. And there's also something in here slightly reminiscent of a tobacco leaf. Actually, I think if you're a huge fan of Amouage Sunshine Woman, you might be okay with this one because there are some similarities. Um, obviously, Amouage Woman isn't green, you know, they're, they're kind of different, but that fragrance has like a fruitiness to it and the tobacco note. And I think that to me, this one also has a slightly tobacco leaf sort of smell about it with that fruitiness, which is from the plum. There's, there's like a plum note in here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a nice scent actually. I don't know. I'll update in the description box whether or not I decide to keep this one. Like at the moment in my head, I am decluttering it. But if I change my mind, um, I will put in the description bar below whether or not this one is actually up for declutter. Um, I'm pretty sure it will be, but I kind of want to give it like another chance because I haven't really given this one a huge chance, to be honest with you. I'm going to wear it today and then decide at the end of the day whether I want to keep it or not, but it's probably going to be a declutter. Okay, you guys, there we have it, my wee declutter video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought of the video, the new surroundings, my decluttered perfumes or anything like that. Or just leave a wee comment to say hello. It's always nice to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I truly appreciate you and I will see you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye.